Well, the Arizona Cardinals have lost five straight games, and it doesn't get any easier this week as they go on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons, of course, 8-1, and one, lost their first game of the season last week on the road in New Orleans. I'm sure they'll be eager to get back to their winning ways in front of the home crowd. Atlanta's currently installed as a 9.5 point favorite in this game on bet deck, 44 is a total. Now, 9.5 is a big number, and the Cardinals, earlier this season, they had success in a similar spot. They won outright as 13-point underdogs in New England. But that was a long time ago, an eternity in NFL time. It was only about a month ago, but this is a completely different Cardinals team right now, starting with a quarterback position. Kevin Cobb was playing quarterback at that time. Cobb's been out with injury for the last few weeks. John Skelton has taken over. And I'm not saying Skelton has been the reason for this five-game losing streak, because certainly it's not like the, the Cardinals offense was an explosive high-scoring unit before Skelton got injured. But Cobb was, was just doing enough. You know, he, he led a couple of nice game-winning drives in the fourth quarter, during that great 4-0 start the Arizona Cardinals had this year. And again, even though he wasn't putting up a lot of numbers, it just seems like they had something going there, a little bit of mojo maybe. That is now gone officially, and maybe it's unfair to blame it on John Skelton, but whatever it is, the offense is 31st in the NFL in total offense, 31st in the NFL in points scored, so that offense is really holding this team back. And because of that, I think it would be really tough to back Arizona in this spot on Sunday. If Arizona is going to stay close in this game, if they're going to have hope of covering the 9.5, they're going to need a really good game out of their defense. The defense is the strength of their team. They are fifth in the NFL in points allowed, and they're especially good in the secondary. Second in the NFL in pass defense. And so it's strength versus strength here, and that'll be the interesting matchup to watch in this game because the Falcons, one of the best passing games in the NFL, Matt Ryan's really developed into an elite quarterback, and the wide receiver tandem of Roddy Jones and, uh, excuse me, Roddy O'White and Julio Jones, that's as good as there is in the NFL. You know, Atlanta's a team, that their offense this year is as good as they have been, probably better than they have been for the last few seasons. This, of course, Dirk Cutter's first year as offensive coordinator. But they've become a more pass-first team this year. Over the last couple of years, Mike Malarkey was their offensive coordinator, and they really were a little bit more balanced. But this year, they're really passing to set up the run. Michael Turner's had a couple of nice games, but the Falcons averaging less than 100 yards per game on the ground. So they're turning into a pass-first team, but you, you can't argue with the results. As we said, 8-1 and one on the year, 7th in the NFL in points scored, 6th in total offense, 4th in passing offense. But we talked about that Arizona secondary is excellent, one of the best secondaries in the NFL. So if Arizona's going to have a chance in this game, they're going to need that secondary to really step up, maybe create a couple of turnovers. And quite frankly, I'm just not sure it's going to happen. I like the Falcons in this spot. They've responded really well off of losses under Mike Smith. The last 27 times Atlanta has lost a game, they're 21-6 and six against the spread in the next game. So... Mike Smith knows how to motivate this team following a loss. That was a tough, sort of bitter loss last week. The Falcons by no means played poorly in that game. It's just so tough to go into New Orleans and get a win. So I think the Falcons get healthy at home this week in front of their home crowd against a team that, despite their good start, they've really turned into a weak sister of the league now. The Arizona Cardinals are now just what we thought they were going to be heading into the year. That was just fool's gold. Fool's gold there at the beginning of the season. I know they have a good defense. They're going to rely on that defense in this game, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think they're going to be able to stay with Atlanta on the road. I do like the Falcons, minus 9.5 in this game.